Hi, and welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to do an unboxing of In Magnificent Style Pickett's Charge, the Deluxe Edition. This is from Worthington Publishing and was designed by the great Herman Lutman, a big well known name in solitaire, wargaming, and gaming circles in general. So, as you know, this originally came out years ago from uh, Victory Point Games, and uh, Herman was able to recover it, revise it, and we now have the deluxe edition. So uh, I was a big fan of the original. Uh, there was a spinoff for World War II called Crowbar that was put out by Flying Pig Games. And now this one uh, from Worthington gets a nice fancy edition. So let's see what we got inside the box. The uh, previous, you know, edition came in a, uh, in a, you know, the small, you know, VPG pizza box kind of game. I don't know why I call it a pizza box. I didn't really like a pizza box, but anyway, let's just go through this and see what we get. So you get the rule book, deluxe edition rule book. Got some artwork here. And then, uh, so we come in at uh, 18 pages total. Full color. It's a very simple game. It's kind of a pressure luck kind of game with a chip pull. Um, for uh, events, things like that. I think they've switched those to cards. We'll look at those in a minute. Um, which is kind of a nice touch because, uh, especially if, if they change the fire markers, but they may not have. No, it doesn't look like they did. The fire markers were a little bit of a pain uh, in the first game. Because it's one of those things, I and mean, it's not you know, a major crisis, but it's one of those things where you have to. Uh, you know, keep them all face down and assign them and stuff. So it's kind of a kind of a little bit of a nuisance there. So but it's no big deal. All right, so here we go. We have two sheets of counters, and there are the fire markers. So what will happen is normally you'll place these on one, but then uh, like when a unit is hit in the union side, you'll put this on them. They'll get minus one of their strength, but then you flip it over. No, oh, this one was a miss. Right, so um, you want to face up. So uh, these are actually a little thicker than those others, so these might be easier to put into a draw cup and be able to feel, you know, get them turned right without looking at them. So that'd probably be the best way to go with that. Anyway, so you get the fire markers, you get strength uh, markers. These would be the Union strength armors markers because they're in blue. Uh, you got who's advancing. Uh, you got your different squads, uh, uh, regiments that are uh, charging up. We apparently have a reference card, which is kind of nice because it's made out of heavy card stock. Another sheet. And you got your strength markers for the uh, Confederates, and they will go up from 2 to 10, and the other side will be the odd numbers. So you can see this will be a 7. And I haven't even looked, I just knew what it was going to be. So. Uh, game turn, rally, uh, your other uh, units um, that are going to be more advancing. And then these are the... Uh, looks like this is a duplicate. I wonder if there's a... Uh, I'll have to check the rules. Is there a uh, two-player? I think it's just a solo game. So just a bonus, I guess, since they have the uh, punch established. But uh, that's cool. Definitely a lot better quality, bigger counters. But not too big, uh, which is nice. These are the artwork on the uh, regiments. They're pretty cool, right? So there they are. And then when they're wounded, you've lost strength and they start depleting a number. You get some guys laying around going, yeah, we're dying. All right, so there's that. Two punch boards. Then we've got our game board. And we will take a look at that separately looks like it's got the uh charts and everything on it like the good old games of maybe the 80s and uh, 70s and 90s early 90s where you know you had the board out and you could just kind of do everything from the board so we'll open that and take a look in a little bit and then you've got your archive registry that'll uh let you um just track your progress and there's basically little score sheets they're double-sided. You get a pad of those. And then we get dice. And I'll 
kind of nose. You got some, you got some gray, you got some blue. Uh, you got a red for battle and a white. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six white, six gray, and uh, white and a red. So red, white, and blue, patriotic. You've given some baggies. It's got a storage tray, kind of like they've done with in the past with Band of Brothers and some of their other games, like 1944, Battle of the Bulge. And you get a custom tray. It's pretty cool. Uh, looks like they just include baggies though, because um, if I recall correctly, when you play this game, most of the units come on the board, so uh, you're not really going to like just drawing selective ones like in a, war, in a in a standard you know order of battle game. You're going to pretty much have everything out and in use. And then we've got the cards, and they've got it in the seal meal bag, so I can just open it. And we'll take a look at them here. Pretty good quality. Thick, 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 thick. Looks like they're all the same back. All right. So we have, yeah, these are the event uh, cards that used to be uh, chip pull. So that'll be a card draw, I guess. Open fire, open fire, various ones. You've got heroic actions. So when you draw one, the gray side will be obviously will affect the uh, Confederates and the blue side will affect the North. And pros and cons. So we've got several cards here. And there's a whole bunch of them. Reserves. So looks like when all they are, they appear to be standard size uh, poker cards. So. Alright, so this is a shot of the game board here. It's folded out. It is a um, three panel by two. So that puts it at about 24 by 22. Um, very basic graphics. Looks... For the most part pretty similar uh, this is where the union is going to set up and be anchored and this is where the uh, confederate is going to set up and then they're going to move forward square by square you know uh, garnet will stay in their column the brigade i was saying yeah i think it was, i was thinking regiment but brigades um so they'll march forward square by square hoping to advance uh, and then certain events will happen based on the area that they're in. Um, so it's a nice looking board. Again, we have the sequence of play on the board, the game turn, there's only five turns. And then you're what your division generals can do. So a division is this group right here. This is a division, division, division. And uh, again, your movement dice results chart. And I think they've, uh, I think Herman and uh, Worthington have done an excellent job of, this used to be a, either a fold out small map or a puzzle piece uh, map. So, so it was a little firmer, but it was like, you know, five pieces that kind of went together. And this is nice having a firm mounted board, not too big for what it is, but an okay size. So anyway, that is the board and we will now recap what you get in the box. Right, so if you pick up a copy of the deluxe edition of uh, In Magnificent Style, which is In Magnificent Style, you will get custom tray, baggies, deck of, deck of event cards, you will get a bunch of dice, and they work. You will get archive reference sheets, and you will get two sheets of counters and markers which punch out easily, and once punched, stay punched. They're pre-rounded, so that's nice too. And we'll get these over here. And then you're going to get your deluxe edition rule book. 18 pages, uh, as I said, yep, 18 pages. And your game board. And that is everything that comes in the box for the deluxe edition of In Magnificent Style, just released by Worthington Games, designed by Herman Lutman. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!